lovely people it's Cara here and I am so so mad so I'm back in my sewing room actually um, I just thought I'd mix it up a little bit I absolutely adore my little summer house um, uh, and I'm looking out the window um, it's quite autumnal actually it's still quite warm but feeling a bit crisp so I thought I'd move myself back inside to do some recording um, as I appreciate you haven't seen my sewing room for a, a few months actually um, but I may still pop into the to the summer house and record in there. Who knows? So this week is a um, so what's happened this week um, kind of video. Just a very chatty. What have I been up to this week? Um, I suppose it's a very similar format to the Friday shows, um, but I can't always guarantee I'll be there on a Friday, so I don't want to commit myself to that. Um, but I do have some updates on what I've been making, um, I have had a few cheeky pu purchases um, and um, I want to tell you about a challenge that's coming up. So um, yeah, hopefully that's something you're interested in. If you haven't already subscribed, please do click on the old button, help me increase my number of subscribers um, because uh, a lot of you watch, which is amazing, um, but a lot of you aren't subscribed, so please please hit the old subscribe button because it helps me to know you're there on a regular basis. So what have I been up to? Well, the eagle-eyed amongst you. Um, I'm going to have to put my glasses on. My, not my new glasses, they're downstairs because old habits die hard. Turns out I can't see you without, <laughs> can't see anything without my glasses on. Oh, you know, um, and I've spoke about my glasses before. Um, but yeah, my uh, my sight has changed quite a lot in that I never used to have a prescription for distance but now I have a plus one um, which is why I can't see you unless I've got these on so I'm gonna have to I was hoping to be able to video without um, but yeah my new glasses not sure I'm getting on with the lenses yet so we'll have to see how that plays out but this this um, enough waffle caro this is the Tilly and the Buttons Marnie uh, their brand new pattern um, I'm absolutely certain you all know about the Marnie. Um, I might, might not even stick the um, stock photo up because every video I watch right now is talking about um, the Marnie. And I have had a bit of a um, an interesting uh, uh, journey. I um, was trying to think of a different word then um, with this top. Um, I like the finished result. Now, obviously, you can see on here, I'll come right in close. Oh, nearly fell over then. Um, I've gone for the pin tucks on here and the pin tucks on here. And I've gone for a little ruffle here. Um, and they were the things about this top that um, attracted me. I knew it was going to be oversized. Um, I, I didn't go for the, the ruffle here you know what I'm like with a big sleeve so but I wanted to learn this technique um, and I did thoroughly enjoy that however I made this top I made it um, so my measurements put me in a, a category of size 5 for Tilly but I, I could see the amount of, e of ease in the top so I sized down to a size 4 but when I finished this it was enormous just enormous this lovely fabric was given to me um, by Liz, the baker that sews. Hi Liz. Um, and I really wanted to do justice to it. I'm not, I haven't actually ever worn pink, I don't think, not quite as boldly as this. So I, I really wanted to, you know, make sure I, you know, did something nice with it. Um, and the top, uh, so I only had two metres. So the pattern takes two and a half metres. So I do have to do a bit of pattern Tetris to make that all work, but it did. Um, I made the top version but the top came to a very odd length on me sort of I don't know mid mid thigh I need to say calf then that would be long wouldn't it um mid thigh absolutely enormous and the sleeves and I know you can see in the picture they are a long sleeve with enough um volume to then you know cuff and they sort of sit in most people they sit about there for me they sat here um I don't know what happened um, now you can see here um, not that it, I can't see my shoulders when I'm not looking at myself in a video so I can't I'm not worried that there's a ripple here but I can see it. it doesn't sit right here and that is because 
I don't know if I did something wrong, but I've, I've looked at the pictures again. There is, um, in this top, you've got the front panel, which is cut on the fold. You've got sort of a, a, a side section here, and then you've got the back, which is replicated. So you've got two side pieces, a back panel, and then obviously a yoke. And for some reason, on this, this bit here was too far. Um, so the shoulder sat down here somewhere, not in a nice kind of drop shoulder way because you there is a there was on my version quite a lot of easing here so a little bit of poof if you like and it just looked odd really odd so the whole shoulders were sort of down here and oh i don't know I, and actually I, I i think i took some pictures because i just thought well I, it's all or nothing um i was gonna swear then but I don't swear um sorry i've got notifications coming up on my phone um uh I thought, do you know what? I'm just going to have to do what I can with this because I was at that point. Now I should, probably should have stepped away, but I thought, no, I'm going to keep keep focused, stay in the zone, and I got my scissors out and hacked it. <laughs> I cannot put any more glamorously than that. I literally, um, and I, I really went for it. And in fact, I will put a picture in here because I literally laid this on my ironing board and went cut from there all the way up and sort of graded it into the shoulder just went for it on both sides went for it um, because i needed the shoulders to come in so i needed to take a massive wedge out of these two panels here now they are not equal but they're okay um because at this stage i thought well i actually don't know if i'm going to be able to rectify this or not so that was my first major cut I then also took an enormous amount of the length. Um, you can, so, where are we? There's, there's the pockets, if my jeans had pockets, and you can see there, I can't actually go further back, I don't think, so look, be for my chair a second. Yeah, there you go. So I have, um, I've made it a lot shorter, as the original pattern came down to about there on me, which I couldn't understand. And then finally, the sleeves, um, so you can see it's it's very drapey and still quite a sort of a boxy style on me. I'm not sure that this is all that flattering, if I'm honest. It makes me look, I know I've got quite a big chest, but not you know, massive. But it looks quite, I don't know, I was not sure about that. But it hasn't put me off wearing it. Just when I'm looking at it directly, I think, whoa. That, yeah, I'm not sure about that, but who knows. But yeah, the sleeves, um, again, I think I've taken a picture of you. You might not be able to see, because I basically, um, so they're quite like a sort of kimono shape or bell sleeve. And I just went whoosh, straight down and whoosh, straight off. So I'd already done the cuffs and everything. So I ended up taking out my elastic and just redoing the elastic. To, um, and it, at that stage, I was like, okay, just go with whatever um, and see. Now, apart from the fact that it doesn't sit brilliantly here, um, again, I can't tell you that I'm worried that about that. I do actually really like it now, but whoa, whoa. For a Tilly and the Buttons pattern, I have never had to change anything so much. I just haven't. So um, so I can't tell you I'm gonna be reaching again for the, um, for the Marnie. I know lots of people have, um, and I've seen some beautiful versions. Um, so well done, everybody. I particularly love um, the ones that are in denim. I think they look amazing. Um, and I could I could see me doing this sort of style again in denim. Um, but so many patterns, you know, so little time. So <laughs> this time next week, something else will come out, I guess. But um, I don't want to fall into that habit. Um, I was very lucky to be able to make this one. Um, oh, it's got a cute, oh, I can't show you, but it has got a really cute um, button. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> I won't know until later in whether <laughs> I have no idea until I edit with this whether you'll actually just see nothing then so that was helpful um but yes so there you go make number one I have made it I'm wearing it uh, somewhere in here I'll have put pictures um to show you uh, what the finished um, make looks like in a bit more um, visual I've got it on with skinny jeans and I have got a red beret that matches um, the check here and my glasses actually um, and I love that look so um, I can see me wearing this um, quite a bit it has, it's quite nice actually because it is nicely transitional 
although I will have to wear a vest underneath because it's, you know, it's a bit wafty. Um, so that was um, make number one. I am going to change because I think for you to un appreciate or understand the next couple of makes, I'm going to put them on. So hold fire and I'll go get changed. Okay, so here we are in uh, the second thing I've made. Um, and this is the Elysian bodysuit by the Friday Pattern Company. Um, uh, thank you for all the wonderful messages, by the way, about my, your thoughts on me wearing a bodysuit, whether it be the, the <laughs> last time since you wore one, or the whole practicalities of wearing a bodysuit, or just generally, go girl! Um, <laughs> so I've made it. Um, before I talk to you about this particular version, I do need to share with you my sewing journey with it. I've got a second journey word on my word. Um, because, uh, if, yeah, it seems to be the week of um, making things and they just not coming out as I imagined. <coughs> so I made um, the Friday Pattern Company uh, Elysian bodysuit in the size that I'm, I was meant to make it. Um, I haven't lost any weight, in fact I'm trying to lose weight. I don't mind my weight but I'm the heaviest I've ever been. Um, I'm back into running, all these sorts of things. But to, for me to have two makes that are so spectacularly um, oversized despite being in the right mod body measurements, I've done the right printing and all that sort of stuff. So I made the Elysian bodysuit. Um, I didn't check what height the, the bodysuit is made for. But I've never had to adapt height on anything because I'm just averagely heighty. Um, <laughs> so when I put it on, and it was enormous in the body, like like so unattractively baggy, it was crazy. I thought, oh, righto. Um, so probably if I reach into my bin, oh, hang on, let's have a look. Hold the line caller. Oh, look now, I've got remnants of the rest of the world on here. Oh my word. I definitely didn't rehearse this. Um, this is the, the bodysuit. So I made it in, um, I literally just got this out of my bin. So I made it in this lovely rib that I got from Birmingham. Um, thank you for your empathy on my parking tickets, by the way. I've been selling things on Vintage to pay for them. Um, so not parking tickets, uh, low emission tickets. Um, Anyway, moving on. Uh, so yes, so I made the bodysuit in this stretch. Um, I love the construction of it, by the way. This very clever um, how the back neck is uh, is a binding, and then it sort of folds into the front piece, which is double thickness. You sort of sandwich the two in. Genuinely, just watch the sew along that the owner of Friday Pattern Company does. She explains it brilliantly. Um, and then I did the long cuff on here. I could not save that. Um, I actually tried to cut it to make it into a top instead um, because I hate throwing anything away, but it's just the fabric isn't, it's not right. To, you can't, where I needed to cut it, uh, it went all wibbly wobbly. So sadly that is in the bin. Um, so I had to do um, some adapting. I ended up taking probably a good, inch off um, and how I did that because there are no shorten and lengthen lines which I found quite interesting um, and because you've got this um, let me stand up you got oh, I don't know if you can see it yeah you just see there you got this beautiful curve here and you've got a bottom piece and then so the bottom piece is single and this, this is double so I had to sort of from the side notch make a cut there um, and, and lower it because with the bodysuit, and obviously you need to do the same on the back as well, because um, it didn't feel to me like the shoulders were in the wrong place, it just felt like the, the torso was too long. So I took it up, just eyeballed it an inch, um, as you do. Um, and then I sewed it together, um, but I basted it together actually. Now, basting jersey, um, I did it with zigzag, the large zigzag stitch. Because you just you do need to be able to put it on to see if that's right. So I'd taken an inch out of the torso, but then still felt actually that the shoulders were too uh, there was too much room here. So I ended up taking an inch then out of the the shoulders as well, um, and then obviously you need to reduce your sleeve head um, in order to make all that fit. <coughs> I make it sound complicated, please, people. 
I don't do any complicated sewing of any kind. I am literally hacking into this. Um, just that's because of my style. I'm literally rah, 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 um, <laughs> just making it work. And to the, this is the result. So I put this together last night um, and I actually really like it. Um, so you just saw a sneak peek there. Um, I, I love this this neck here. So this is double sided, so you've got dual thickness um, on the on the top part, which is good for obvious reasons. You've got um, a really nice sleeve. I did take the sleeves in a little bit. Um, I've gone for the deep cuff again. Now bear in mind that that's you've got two types of cuff. You've got um, this deep cuff, which is that long, um, and you've also got a narrow cuff. So if you had a narrow cuff it's going to be three quarter length or it would be on me anyway um let me t take a twirl i don't know if you can i don't know if you'll be able to what you'll be able to see because obviously it's black you've got a lovely binding on the back there and it doesn't have any poppers or anything so i am i'm going to wear this today and just see how that works out because um i <laughs> you know what i'm saying when i'm saying that so let's see how it goes but i do that's a really nice look isn't it a little bit of cleavage there a little bit ooh, let me just ooh. <laughs> that was attractive so I'm, I'm a little bit conscious of that but i've got my everyday bra on here um <coughs> I don't know, it's quite it's okay it's not like revealing or anything and it is actually super comfortable now that i've got it right um so let me know what you think I'm not sure, if I'm honest, that this bit really is adding anything other than the fact that it allows you to to um, to double double line that. I, I suppose that's the <coughs> excuse me. I suppose that's the key benefit of it. Um, so we're going to see. Um, I'm going to wear this today with some dungarees because um, I absolutely love the idea that um, then when I am taking an actual break. Um, although I'm, I don't wear dungarees with nothing underneath, that's a, that's a daft statement really. But um, I think it might give me, in autumn at least, some additional coverage, which would be nice. So we'll see, we'll see. And then the final, um, oh, I've left it downstairs, that's helpful. The final thing I wanted to show you is my waistcoat. So hang on, because I've left it somewhere else. Back in a sec. Okay. So, in the glamorous world of being a YouTuber, I've just taken my bodysuit off to put this on because this waistcoat from Vicky Sews, um, uh, Liliana, I think it's called, I might be making that up, but I'll put the stock photo up in here, is designed to be worn with nothing underneath. And because I've made it in black, you just won't see any of the details. So I thought, if I take my, my bodysuit off for a second, you'll be able to see the detail. So let me stand up. I appreciate you won't see my, um, you can't see me talking then. And I haven't even taken any photos or footage of this, so I'll, I will insert some footage that I haven't even taken yet. Um, but this, so this is the waistcoat. Um, I, I love this actually. Was quite a tricky make. Um, thank you again for all of your encouragement about welt pockets. Now, eagle-eyed amongst you think they're not welt pockets. There are welt pockets and they're here. I have done them, but they're atrocious. So I have put flaps over the top um, to basically hide my hideous welts. Um, I should have practiced more, I know, but I'm a bit impatient like that, you might have noticed. So um, they came out okay, but not great. So um, I have basically then made some little suit sort of flaps here instead. Um, I, I really like it. Um, it's I've got like an adjustment thing here, um, sort of slide. I'll, I'll take it off in a moment so I can show you some more detail. Um, and as I say, I'll put some footage. I definitely can see this being a staple in my wardrobe. I may have to make another one in order to make that better. In fact, next time I don't think I'll put the pockets on at all. Um, but I need to work out how to adapt the pattern pieces because they're slit for the welt is part of that and then there's a lovely um a lovely what do you call it dart here there's actually a number of darts you've got two darts in the back two darts here um uh forget now on the inside there's some more darts because it is fully lined um it's some really cute details so let me what i'm going to do is i'm going to put the bodysuit back on 
Um, actually, I'm going to go out and take some photos whilst I've got it like this. I'm going to go and take some photos, which you know nothing about because they'll be popping up here somewhere. Um, and then I'll take it off again, put the bodysuit back on, and I'll show you some more details. Back in a sec. Okay, so here I am. God, I tell you what, doing these videos is a uh, exercise in itself. It is a glorious day out there. So I'm actually recording this today and I'm going to upload it today. Check me out. Um, but I wanted to show you the inside um, as I absolutely adore this fabric. I made some trousers out of this a long time ago and had a sort of a random amount left. So this, it, I've never lined anything before, I don't think, or not successfully. But I'd say this is pretty successful. Um, so there's a beautiful finish on the inside. Um, you got like a, a, a tuck here in order to keep some volume. Um, on the back, I don't know if you can see this. I might have to show it to you upside down. On the, on the back, there's a lovely V detail, um, which is really cute, just at the, the base of the, of the back of the. I don't know if I can show you that too. Um, yeah, you can see it there. And that's the adjusting buckle on the back, um, which again, you sort of sew into the side seams. That's actually one of the first steps. Um, so, yeah, it's um, it's really interesting. Uh, I, I always feel like I'm on the sewing bee when I'm talking about things like this, because there's, there's quite a lot of poofiness, so I don't know if the lining isn't, uh, whether I've done the seam allowances enough, because there's quite a lot of fabric on the inside. But it's super neat how it's all finished off. Good job there's a lining because the pockets are a mess. But that's because you don't finish the pockets at all because you're not, you're never going to see them because they they are basically like that. So I am um, I'm really pleased with it. And this is the look that generally I was going for, um, as I explained in my previous video. Uh, and I'll put some footage in here somewhere. Um, and don't forget, this is a Vicky Sews pattern. So Vicky Sews, for those of you who must um, talk amongst yourselves whilst I'm doing my buttons up. Um, Vicky Sews patterns are bespokely sized to you. Um, you get a number of, you've got four or five different height ranges. Um, so it's really good if you're um, slightly shorter or slightly taller. Um, and then individual body measurements. And they send the pattern bespoke to you. So if you're thinking, oh, that fits well, it should, because the pattern is bespokely made to me. So that is, um, I love it, yeah. That's perfect, covers the tummy area, covers the boobs, and you know, um, the cold areas. Maybe, maybe in winter, this might be a bit too exposing, but not really, because that's what scarves are designed for. Um, so I'm really, do you know what this is? This is a super comfortable outfit. Full stop right there, the end. Um, you can wear this with a polar neck as well. So I definitely can see this being as a mirror just here. That's why I'm looking in there. I can definitely see this being as a staple in my wardrobe. So the, I hope you enjoyed that. So sitting over there is the grey pair of Anya trousers oh, um, that just constantly is on a bottom pile rotation. Um, but this one's too, so I just need to just crack on and sew them because I don't think they'll take me very long once I, um, once I get it done and then I feel slightly less guilty but let me just share with you some other things that have come my way this week one of them is this stripy bag that appeared um, I'm absolutely paranoid of dropping this so I went to um, Little Miss So and So um, uh, you know my fabric radar is on all the time and uh, I have a new I'm not new. I've been working in Stonecross um, for about a year. Tiny place. You're never likely to have heard of that. Um, and passing uh, one day, I was like, oh, little miss so-and-so in a sort of industrial estate. And so I sort of went home and Googled them. Um, we used to have an actual shop, but like a lot of businesses, they've had to go online only. But she has the most wonderful array of not only dressmaking fabrics, but um, a lot of patchwork stuff. So yeah she's got amazing subscription services for um for patchwork but also for dressmaking and coming to um a t my channel t very soon 
is I, I am going to be um, an ambassador for Little Miss So and So, which is really exciting. And I'm going to be sharing with you um, her subscription service, which I'm very, very excited about. Um, so that might even be next week's video. We'll have to wait and see how that plans out. But I'm really excited about that and I'll share more details with you. But yesterday she had an open day and um, I went along because it's literally um, uh, in a tiny village called um, Polgate, um, which is only maybe 15, 20 minutes from me. Um, so if you are local, if you're one of my local viewers, uh, do subscribe to her because she's going to be doing an open day about once a month or so. Um, yesterday was her first ever one. And it was lovely, there was loads of people, uh, actually she did it in hourly slots, but it was just, it was an amazing array of um, beautiful fabrics and as I say, lots of cottons for quilting and patchworking and fat quarters and haberdashery. And one of the things I bought was a bag of buttons, right? A bag, this bag of buttons um, was three pounds so I was in heaven, because you know how, um, you know, you know, how we, all, we all need a lot of buttons. And so in here is, oh, they get a right mess already, hundreds, hundreds and hundreds of buttons. Um, so that was really exciting. And, oh, I've made a bit of a mess there. Oh, dear. Hang on. Oh. <laughs> Oops, I'm going to be hoovering those up. Um, just, so that was really exciting. So this afternoon I'm going to pop out and get one of those organiser box and then sit and put them into organisation. So that was amazing. And then... So I'm leaning down here very unglamorously, sorry about that. And then obviously I needed to get some fabric. I'm just thinking what, what I'm sitting on here. Um, and then I realise I haven't put my microphone in, so I do apologise that you don't have any sound um, from that point. Uh, well, you do. You have, you have the sound that is reliant off my phone. But as you will see in just a second, if I can get this working out, this is the microphone. So let me plug you in. I'm sorry if that was horrific on your earplugs. <laughs> now I just dropped the stuff I picked up off the floor. It's going really well. <laughs> so little miss, little miss so and so sells dressmaking um, as well as cottons and all sorts of stuff. And I spied a beautiful piece of fabric that I just had to home. So look at this. Oh my word. This is a waffle, or no, it's honeycomb they call it. Look at the colours in that. Oh my goodness. And this is a um this is a remnant um and I don't it's not for sale anymore. Um but I believe it's a Lady McElroy honeycomb um and it's a really beautiful sort of thick jersey, almost scuba-esque. So white on the back and then and when I saw this I was like oh have to have that and literally a lady was with me she's like oh that's nice and I'm like yeah I'm holding this now <laughs> so I picked that up and there's only just over a meter here which is um interesting I obviously picked up the matching uh, thread as well let's put that back there so then I picked up some ribbing I've never I don't think I've worked with ribbing very often I did a project for dragonfly fabrics a few years ago where I used ribbing for the first time but that was the poppy ribbing that comes uh, pre-cut so I bought half a meter of ribbing um, which coordinates really nicely let me show you that um, coordinates really nicely with that because I'm going to make a bomber jacket um, I've never made a bomber jacket before but just something really simple um, it's going to be pattern Tetris um, again I've got the matching thread because she sells those as well so I thought, uh, I think rather, that the, um, so the, the green coordinates really well. It's got a nice autumnal and kind of neutral colour to go with. So on a standard bomber jacket, you've got the, the top bit that's in ribbing, you've got the bits around the waist, and then you've got the cuffs. And I figured if I genuinely haven't got enough of this fabric, I'm going to go back and get some more of this, because this is quite similar thickness, um, certainly thick enough for a lightweight bomber jacket. And I'll do the back panel in the jacket in that colour as well. Um, sometimes you do the arms, but I'm not thinking, I'm not, I'm not feeling it for the arms. I'm hoping I've got enough to do the two fronts the, um, and the arms at least, um, and hopefully the back as well um, in this. Now the pattern I've got in mind for that, because I didn't have a jacket, 
excuse me, I didn't have a bomber jacket pattern is, um, and it's taken a little bit of research, is the Jolly, Jolly, uh, Jolly, Charlie bomber. And I'll put the stock photo in here. Um, it's an unlined, although there is a, a tutorial to line it, an un unlined bomber jacket. But it also has a tutorial available on YouTube, which is where I saw it, if I'm honest. And how they do their welt pockets is amazing. So, because um, I was a bit scared about going straight into another welt pocket situation. But their welt pocket is actually included in the pocket piece um, and looked really straightforward on the um, on the YouTube video. So fingers crossed that works out okay. And it's a, it's a single welt pocket. And obviously, therefore, the welt belt part will be this colour. Um, so maybe I may have to go back and get some more of this anyway because I didn't realise. Oh, actually, no, I've got from my Birmingham fabric haul, the, I've got exactly this jersey colour. Um, so I'm going to make the pockets and the welts out of that. So I think that'll be okay. Um, so it's just the literally the, the lip of the, the welt pocket, which is double lined anyway. So I just thought it was really cute, a really lovely autumnal jacket coming my way. Um, and then the other thing that I couldn't resist was this glorious fabric. Now this is this is available on her website and is currently an absolute steal. This is a Dashwood Studio cotton poplin. Um, in it's got. I'm gonna just do it justice, really. I was upside down. Hang on. Hang on. Yes. It's upside down. So it's got seascape on it. You've got beautiful, um, oh, it's, it's a black background and gorgeous fish and sort of corals and bits and pieces. And this is currently an absolute steal. So this is an overstock from a previous um, subscription box that she's done. And it's currently on her website for £6.40 a metre, um, which is amazing. Well, that's what I paid yesterday. I presume that's the, the, the price on online too. But she was saying it is 50% off, so that sounds about right. So, and there's a number of designs of this, some of which are more sort of crafty orientated, but I am going to make a blouse out of this and I'm going to make the avid seamstress the blouse. Again, I'll put the stock photo up here. Um, I was gifted that yesterday, which is very kind. Um, and not, not by Sussex, uh, avid, the little miss so, little miss so and so on my words. So many pattern companies just came out then, didn't they? Oh, sorry about that. This is about, the fabric is available for Little Miss So and So, and I'm going to make the avid seamstress the blouse pattern that was gifted to me yesterday by a friend. They bought it for me, so um, thank you. So um, yes, yeah, that's that's the plan for that because I think that's going to look really cute with jeans. Um, in fact black like jeans that I'm wearing now and again very practical for um for autumn I think to have a nice blouse in my wardrobe um and then the final thing I want to talk to you about is a challenge that's coming up um uh and I'm going to be um involved in a challenge that is being run by Becky um from the secret life as a seamstress and um Karen from so little time um, and I'm going to be taking part in the Sew Up Cycle project. And I will put um, a, a screenshot of that, uh, the challenge here. And the idea is, it is just an inspirational challenge. Um, there's no prizes involved or anything like that, as far as I'm aware. Um, I, I hope I haven't got that wrong, but as far as I'm aware, just to encourage us as sewists, um, a community of sewists, to um, to to use what we've already got uh, in different ways um, so I'm going to be sharing a, a video um, where I just sh I, I, you can basically so you can either use so like a, a bedspread or some curtains or you can literally upcycle that something that you had in your wardrobe from a from a previous make or a ready to wear that you're going to repurpose so that we can all inspire each other to um, use what we already have in different ways to give them a second lease of life and I think that's really exciting um, so there's going to be a blogger per day um, through October um, and that's really exciting so it starts on the 1st of October and runs right through to the end of the month my date is the 4th of October so please look out for that um, and uh, so it's a yeah it'll go around the houses a bit like it did with so frugal for example so thank you to Becky and to Karen 
for reaching out to me and asking me to take take part of that. And I look forward to being inspired by my fellow um, YouTubers um, and also Instagrammers as well, because um, we'll post our, our makes up on there. Um, so I hope I haven't got any of those details wrong. I apologise in advance if I have, but I will put the details um, up on the screen so you can see that. Um, so that's enough from me today. I hope you're keeping safe and well, and I'll see you again next week um, with potentially uh, a new subscription service that I cannot wait to share with you. If not, I'll be giving you an update, um, as I do most weeks, on what I've been up to in my sewing room. Take care, everybody. Bye. Bye.